What is up guys? Malcolm back again from Majestic Skies Visual Effects. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to quickly and easily bake in normal maps from a higher poly mesh to a lower poly mesh in under 10 minutes using Blender 2.8. So this will work for really any object you have where you have maybe like a really high detail uh, version of it and then a much lower detail version um, that maybe you want to use in a game engine or uh, just simply to speed up your renders or maybe to make a big array of them like if we wanted to maybe make like a hundred of these if we use this high poly mesh it would just be too uh, too high poly um, to really be able to use in that circumstance so it would be nice to be able to uh, bake that into the normal map texture still get most of that same detail uh, while still having this kind of much much lower poly uh, um, you know object so first thing you want to do is uh, when, when you're happy with your result this is a sculpt here that I've been working on pretty sloppy uh, definitely don't judge me on my sculpting abilities because I'm still definitely learning as far as that goes but um, you know this is just to kind of demonstrate how it's done so we got our high poly mesh and then all I did is I duplicated that mesh and then added a decimate modifier on it and set it to uh, you know whatever value I want to get the kind of geometry I want so this you can see that's kind of going to be the finishing geometry you could go even further if you wanted but I found this setting just gives me a good good amount of detail where you don't necessarily notice you can see this is whoops this is what it looks like without any modifiers you can see it's very very high poly which uh, you know honestly just one of it kind of is enough to slow down the the viewport so um, yeah so now we'll, we'll get started so what you want to do is first uh, once you're happy with the geometry you have here in fact I'm actually going to turn this off this modifier off for now eventually we are going to apply that but uh, we'll leave it off for now just because I didn't want to go too far oh you also do need your object to be UV unwrapped which I did very early in the modeling process of this before I even started sculpting so you want to definitely UV unwrap it uh, for the lower poly version um, then you want to just open up the UV editor and we're going to split that window as well to also have the shader editor and the reason for that is basically uh, when you go to bake in your uh, normal map it looks for an image inside of your material for your lower poly object um, so you just need to make sure that you have uh, a image texture in there so what we're going to do is we're going to click, click new we're going to create a new image texture uh, for the purpose of this I'm going to make it pretty high detail just to kind of see the results you get you don't usually need 4K, but I will name this maybe uh, Displacement Map. Okay, we're gonna hit OK, and then all we need to do is here in the material settings for that lower poly mesh, we're gonna add in a texture, image texture. And we're just gonna open up that displacement map we just created. So that's the image we just created. It's in the material for this. Obviously, you need to make sure you have a material on here, which we do. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much good to go. So from here, then what we're going to do is you do need to use cycles for this. You, as soon as you're done baking it, however, you can go back to EV if you so choose. And uh, then all you need to do is go down here under the render tab for, for the cycles render engine. You also might want to turn on GPU compute if you have a GPU that uh, is CUDA compatible. And right here under bake, it has a lot of different options here. So um, here you can see the bake type. You can bake anything from you know subsurface scattering to your glossy glossiness to your diffuse um, emission roughness. In this case, though, we want to bake the normal map. Ambient occlusion is really useful too, but in this case, you want to bake the normal map. Um, and then what you want to do is this one won't normally be selected. So you want to hit selected to active. And then what you need to do is actually unhide your high poly object. In fact, I'm going to actually hide these eyes just to make sure they don't get in the way. And then we're going to select the high poly mesh first. We got that high poly mesh selected first, then the low poly mesh, and then just simply click bake. Let's make sure all our settings are right here. Oh, the ray distance also is fairly important. If this is on zero, it's probably going to give you quite strange results. So you need to set this up to around, well, really any anything above zero is going to work. Uh, it just kind of depends. Basically what this does is it's telling Blender um, the distance to kind of add and subtract from the geometry using the normal map. 
So um, we're just going to leave that at the setting I have there. Um, margin as well, that'll usually be on around 16. That'll be kind of your distance between um, your maps basically once it once it bakes. We'll see what it comes out with at 16, but I think I'm going to want that a bit lower But for my particular purposes. But uh, we're just going to click bake and we'll see what happens here. Okay, so we're done baking now. I think one of my settings is definitely not set correctly though. Well, maybe not. Okay, so it did bake it. Oh, that's interesting. I actually changed this ray distance setting before, but I guess it wasn't changing. So you normally want your ray distance to be a lot higher than this. So let's try doing 0 0.5. Let's just try that and see. And we're going to hit bake again. Okay, that's looking a lot better. Now the reason I had that set really low, as you can see, we're getting some issues with the, the eyes as well as down here getting issues there. So what I'm going to do is just lower this uh, once again. In fact, I'm actually going to make this 8. I'm going to set this to 0 0.1. Hit bake and see, see what comes out there. And that gives you an idea of uh, the kind of issues you'll get if that, that setting is set too high. Because if it's set way too high, your normal map is going to be unusable. So it's important to make sure that that is not set too high. Okay, that's looking a lot better. So now we're not getting as much of that weirdness. This is around the eyes, so I'm actually not really worried about that because it's all going to be hidden by the eyes, but um, that area down there is fixed. Okay, so from here we have our image created. Uh, of course, you might need to go in and spend a little more time tweaking these settings, but um, in this particular case, that worked just fine. So we'll go ahead and hire our higher poly mesh. Now I'm going to turn back on my decimate modifier because this is really what I would eventually end up making the mesh is this kind of really low poly result here, which is, what is this? This is 14,000 triangles. That's a bit of a glitch. All right, that's okay though. All right, let's turn the eyes back on now. Okay, so this is our low poly mesh. Now we still have our displacement map in there. Now one thing you do need to do as well is add in a vector normal map node. And this is going to tell Blender that this is a normal map or not we're using and not just a normal um, you know, texture. Now what you want to do is grab the color and put it into the color option. And then what you want to do is instead, this will be normally set to sRGB. Well, that's weird, it's not letting me change that at all. Very strange. Hmm. I don't let you change that, but... Hmm. Let me try saving this first. So you do need to usually save your, your settings first. Okay, we're going to try now, now that it's saved. Okay, now it lets us, so we just had to save it first, probably because it's a 4K image. But anyways, what you want to do is set this to non-color data, and then put it in the color. And it will not work otherwise, so it is important that you do that. And uh, now if we go into rendered view, it won't show up in the solid view. If we go to look development, or the rendered view, uh, we should start to see that uh, normal map affecting the model. Maybe not in look development, actually. Oh, actually, you got to select our UV map here in the, in the normal map option. Right away, you should see it switch here. And now what I'm going to do just for speed is I'm going to switch back to the EV rendering engine. Just a simple button there. And uh, I believe that is affecting it. Let's just try turning it up. Okay, so in this particular case, what probably happened is I went too low with the with that setting for the, the ray distance, but there you go, setting it to 10. Um, you can actually see the, the geometry being displaced. So, you know, you can adjust how, how strong you want it to be affected. I would probably spend more time and actually probably turn that setting up a little bit to get more of the result we want. But what I'll demonstrate here now is that this is our high poly mesh and this is our low poly mesh. And as you can see, they look quite similar. And of course, if you were to export this mesh, you know, after applying the decimate modifier we have on there, you could certainly load it into Unity and use it as like a game asset or uh, whatever you, whatever your purposes are, you can certainly use that. And you can see, if I grab one of these lights here, just move it around, we'll see how the normal map is kind of affecting it as light gets closer to it. It is actually showing up as kind of detail inside the mesh. And you can see if I go into the other one, pretty comparable results between the normal map and the actual um, higher poly mesh. So anyways, hope this tutorial helps you guys. Um, you can also plug this normal map into something like say the roughness, um, which depending on your model might be what you want for this type of skin material though, for this like alien character I'm working on, it's you know not really needed, but yeah, anyways, hope this tutorial helps you guys and uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this.